Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting algebraic challenge. One equation is given to us that is 12x square plus 8x plus 1 equal to 64 over 36x square minus 1. This is one rational equation also and I can say it is one quartic equation also once x equal to plus minus 1 by 6 is exempted. So let me consider our domain first. Let me write this denominator cannot be equal to 0 for solution to be real. So I will write 36x square cannot be equal to 1 for sure. Now x square cannot be equal to 1 by 36. So x cannot be equal to plus minus 1 by 6. This is what I was saying. Once x is not equal to plus minus 1 by 6, this is one quartic equation. Now I can multiply, cross multiply the terms. So I will write 12x square plus 8x plus 1 times 36x square minus 1 equal to 64. Now I will deal both the brackets separately this bracket separately I will use factorization and here I will use algebraic identity. Let me show you how it is. This 8x I will consider 6x plus 2x. So let me write 12x square plus 6x plus 2x plus 1. Now from first two term I can see 6x is common. So what would be left? 2x plus 1. In last two terms, you can see one I can consider common to retain our bracket identical 2x plus 1. Now 2x plus 1 is complete common, overall common. In bracket, it would be 6x plus 1. So first bracket having factorization 2x plus 1 times 6x plus 1. Now second bracket. I know one algebraic identity or algebraic formula which is a square minus b square, it is a plus b times a minus b. So I will write our 36x square as 6x whole square and 1, this one you can write like 1 square, now a square minus b square. So I will write 6x plus 1 times 6x minus 1. Now I will write the overall equation after factorization completely. So I will write 2x plus 1 times 6x plus 1 times 6x plus 1 times 6x minus 1 equal to 64. Now you can see 6x plus 1 having a square means 2 times it is so I will write a square. So let me write 6x plus 1 whole square, 2x plus 1, 6x minus 1. 2x plus 1, 6x plus 1 whole square. And then we have got 6x minus 1 equal to 64. Now if you notice 6x is there for two brackets, but only one bracket we do not have. 6x term. Here I am talking. So what I will do? I will multiply here with 3 and divide by 3. Once I will multiply then it will become 6x plus 3. So that that is my objective to consider this one as 6x plus 3 now. Second bracket is as it is unchanged 6x plus 1 whole square. Third bracket is also unchanged. Right hand side I will consider 3 times 64. 3 times 64, so 180 plus 12, 192. Done. Now the turn of substitution. I will give substitution to whole square bracket. So let me consider 6x plus 1 equal to t. Once it is t, then what value I will write for 6x plus 3? Add 2 to both sides, so t plus 2. Okay. Now third bracket 6x minus 1, I need to write t minus 2. So let us put all the values over here. 
three respective places. So let me write t plus 2 times 6x plus 1 whole square. So t square times t minus 2 equal to 192. Now I will take the a plus b, a minus b again. So t square as it is, then I can write in the bracket from these two terms. I will write a plus b, a minus b. So a square minus b square, which is 4. 192. Now I will take the product t power 4 minus 4t square minus 192 equal to 0. Now we have to solve this quartic equation. And if you will see the quartic equation, it is quadratic in t square. Both the statements are identical, same. So I will consider this is quadratic in t square. Let me write that equation once t power 4 minus 4t square minus 192 equal to 0. Either you can consider t square is equal to y, another substitution, or you can presume this is quadratic in t square. So I am considering the second one. I will write t square is equal to, let's apply Shridrachar formula minus b 4 plus minus under the root b square. So minus 4 is square 16 minus 4 ac. So 4 times 192. It would be 768 minus times minus plus and divided by 2a. So I will write 2. 4 plus minus this value is 784. 784 divided by 2. Now if you will check this is square root 784 is 28. If you will take the square of 28, you will get 784. 4 plus minus 28 over 2. So I can write here 4 plus 28, 32 over 2. 4 minus 28, minus 24 over 2. Conclusion is 16 and minus 12. T square. Remember what is T square? t was our substitution 6x plus 1. Let me write here equal to t. This was our substitution. We will use little later t square is equal to 16 and negative 1. Negative 12. Let me write here t square is equal to 16 and negative 12. Let me write here 12 i square. See if a square is negative that means t is complex solution. It, it will give us complex solution. So if we are finding complex solution also, then also we have to write in this manner. Now take a square root. t will be equal to plus minus 4 and the square root of i square that would be i. So plus minus i square root 12, 4 times 3. So I will write 2i root 3. This is our t value. Now remember what was our substitution? It was t was 6x plus 1. Let me write here 6x plus 1 equal to plus minus 4 and plus minus 2i root 3. Take away 1 from both sides. So I will write 6x is equal to minus 1 plus minus 4 and minus 1 plus minus 2i root 3. Now I will divide this equation with 6. So I will get x. So minus 1 plus minus 4 over 6 and minus 1 plus minus 2i root 3 over 6. So from second solution you can see it is complex. So let me write here complex solution. And for real solution I have to simplify. It will give us minus 1 plus 4, so 3, 3 over 6, so half, minus 1 minus 4, minus 5 over 6. This is our ultimate real solution. Okay, so two solutions are complex and two solutions are real solution. If you want to verify, you can check also. I hope this video is meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.